Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to another recording of Shadows of Mordor. So, I want to really just quickly ask for any feedback if this screen you're seeing right now is too dark or too bright. Right now, to me, it looks really bright, but so much happens between recording it in a, one software and then uploading it to YouTube. Who knows what, or what it looks like at the end. I can't probably fix it. I'll be done with this series and on to probably two or three series from now by the time I get any, get any feedback. But I definitely want to receive any so I know that there was a problem and see if I can fix it. By default, I left the brightness the same and I'm really wondering if I need to adjust that in all games. Also, the audio. Uh, is the same issue is the audio an issue uh, continuously let me to know I went back and watched the first episode so I think I now know how to get intel you have to grab them and hit A so we'll try that and that'll increase our uh, ability to play this game in a funny way we really kind of Oops, I ran out of focus. Uh, in a funny way, I, I really kind of forgot what they told me. Because they immediately did tell me that there was uh, a way to get in intel and such. But... Let's see, can I jump this guy? A dead Uruk, and not my doing this time. He's back to work. Nobody liked him anyway. Something just Ranger! So I killed you once, Ranger, but I can do it again. <laughs> So we can see I'm really powerful now. I'm not gonna retreat. You're not going nowhere. I'm gonna I'm letting them hit me, which is probably a mistake. Yeah, it is a mistake. Finally, you are silenced. So when it says finally you are silenced, does that mean he's gone forever? I don't know. So I did because of the way this game threw so much at us, I did just forget how they interrogate. There was so much other stuff going on. Also, one thing I've forgotten at this point is that I, my family was killed and I'm dead. All of the storyline that was supposed to be important here has mostly fallen out of my head. Uh, I'm just running around ridiculously uh, killing things for the simple fun of killing things. Right. So we need to squeeze in here for the next... This is the humans, the outcasts. Let's start this mission. Higdon has a plan to draw the Black Captain's attention to Uden, but he's going to need more men to accomplish it. Infiltrate the Orc stronghold and free the outcasts. Okay. These cutscenes are a little off-putting. They're so far from what the game is. The, the graphics are a little too high to you. We obtained some valuable information from this one. Before he lost his head. He's gone so nothing. Precious time. Most of time. We have learned where they are keeping our blasting powder. What need have I of blasting powder? It's all part of the plan, my friend. 
whatever leads us to the Black Hand is my only concern. So anxious to find the Black Hand. Then by all means, I will take you to him. With any luck, the Uruks have yet to discover the secrets of the Blasting Powder. We will need to free my men to find out. Do you believe the Blasting Powder can draw out the Black Hand? I pray so. Again, not the touching any controls Hall, right now. Where many of my men are enslaved. I pray Aaron too is there. I will handle the Uruks. Perhaps we can take a more stealthy approach and incapacitate them by using their weakness. Grog. Have you ever heard of Hithless? It's toxic and is good for one thing. Poisoning orcs. <laughs> Follow me. I so when no. I deserted the Black Gate, I fell sick. It was Aaron who nursed me to health. Is she the reason you joined the tribesmen? Of the many, she is my most cherished. There are only so many camps my wife could have been taken to. Do you believe she will be at this one? My heart says yes. I hope for your sake she is here, God. I like how this guy started running. Uh, speeding up what is a long journey. But speaking of graphics, there is some laziness in just the textures of this area, the rocks. It feels a little low for as new of a game it is. Some of the grass is a little low, the plants, the I bushes are pretty low. Uruks. Be careful, Ranger. Alright. I think there's a plant over here. That wasn't the right plant. It's these yellow ones, okay. Hmm. These games that have this attention mechanic makes no real sense. If I saw something out of the corner of my eye, at the very least, I'm going to look very detailed, very carefully in that direction. And from being looking very carefully in that direction, I would almostly certainly see somebody who's just bending around. I'm trying to hide here. I guess I can only execute, uh, interrogate people that are specific. I don't even see this plant. I guess it's there? It just looks like a plant though. For as much as they're focused around the ability to collect plants, you would assume there would be a little bit more to it than what we're seeing as far as visual graphics details this game feels kinda cheap if I'm gonna there just throw ahead. it out there Follow me. it seems like it they had no real confidence in the game Where did and you acquire this I guess they have a reason to Trade believe that with the blustery dwarf it is a big title with the Lord of the Rings, but footprints. it is also a new IP. You are proving yourself to be a strong leader for a deserter. That is only because I leave the hard work to men like you. The, this is probably the right way to do this. I would imagine 
when Shadow of Mordor 2 comes out, which I am, think I just heard news it is, uh, I imagine they're going to go big budget at that level. Are we just following him? That's all we're doing. We're following him and sneaking in. We shouldn't have fought to them men so much. Rubbish. When they're filled with terror, they're flexing easy. It needs so much, so badly to be a toggle, the stealth mode, though. It needs to be something along the lines of left bump, which I don't know if the left bump does anything. In right Mordor, now. even the flowers are of death. There are far worse things than flowers here. Next like, left bump to right. toggle up. <laughs> Look at that jump. That was an animated well. Uh, left bump to toggle in the stealth mode. And then left bump to toggle right out of it. Was I supposed to hide from that? I don't know, I was in scan mode. Another major problem with the scan mode stuff. It's just... They really need to... The video game industry in general needs to figure out how to... Get away from this stuff. It's hurts your visuals of your game it has the player who's if they're obsessive about collectibles like me running around in the game in that mode the whole time which then hurts their experience of, and the visuals I thought it impossible Sauron would ever return darkness descends upon Mordor soon it will be impossible not to succumb Look at the camera freaking out there. We couldn't fight the orcs. We started dressing up like slaves, sneaking into their camps to free the others. A bold strategy. Not really. Mostly, we'd end up slaves ourselves. At least we came dressed for the part. Hmm. When I was first rescued by the outcasts, they told me you led the search party for my head. I volunteered. Were you caught, our fellow rangers would have killed you. I cannot let you suffer that fate. See, he's just ro walking. Maybe I'm supposed to just walk. It seems so strange in a world full of orcs that you could ever find seconds where you could just walk. I think he needs a magic power that would just make him invisible. As long as you don't make sound. Uh, they'll, the orcs will ignore you, as long as you don't pull your sword. Hmm. Up here, we almost have enough poison for our purpose. I look forward to seeing its effects up close. It's so strange to be in such an area and it's just be empty. I think that's because we're in a story mode, I would assume. That's the reason. Now there's every reason whatsoever to collect these other plants too while we're here. They give us experience, they refill our health, and they're towards collectibles. As far as our scavenger survivalist challenge. What is it called? Survivalist, I think. So we're gonna poison these orcs. This should be enough. Now all you have to do is drop it into their grog. It takes control the orcs again. Not smell the poison. No. But if I'm not touching you, any controls I right doubt now. They will drink from it. The Uruks are stationed by the front gates. For the sake of my men, keep to the shadows. I'll gather my men and wait. We'll stand ready to seize the blasting powder once the camp is clear. Is 
So we're gonna sneak into this big Remember, city section. Don't be seen. These Uruks have killed many slaves for far less. Ability unlocked poison grog. Press right bump to poison grog barrels. Oh, is that what those barrels were? After our drink from the survivors will become suspicious and start fighting amongst themselves. So, bonus objective stealth kill five Uruks. We have two guys that can see me all the way from here. And I need to get 4,400 feet that way. So one would assume first thing I need to do is take out that guy. Spiritual arrows. I don't know what whether they're real arrows or if they're supposed to be metaphors of something else. I think they're supposed to be metaphors for something else. Drop the hang, and I can't. Let's see. They was good warriors, all of them. One of them was a berserk, another warrior. Let's go ahead and jump over here. Of course, none of these are technically considered stealth kills. I'm supposed to be stealthy here, but I really want to just kill more of these guys. Slight problems with the getting on the right platform. So this isn't one of them. Hmm. I thought we was going on a hunt, and now all of a sudden I'm getting orders to pack more supplies. Probably just getting reassigned to the keep. I heard they saw that park range flicking around. So nobody sees me right now. No wonder this stuff burns so well. And I was detected. Wow. Well, this is going to This is, could be rather annoying. Like really really annoying if Simply having run into trouble getting the things done. 
I also probably would guess I was completely on the wrong path there and that there is one specific spot that they intend for you to use. And I think this is probably part of it. Poison the scrog. No wonder this stuff burns so well. There's another one. These people are seeing me, even though well, they shouldn't be, I don't think. Do the, the creatures have a tendency to break out or make noise when you're near them? No, I don't think so. was the danger. This was the danger completely. I would simply be unable to use the stealth. Let's try this. Hiding completely, and yet the guy can still see me. <laughs> no wonder this stuff burns so well. There's one on the ground. I was detected. Hmm. One of the issues here also is we're not gaining we're not gaining what we would want to gain as far as experience. Try to hurry through here. No wonder this stuff burns so well. I'm trying to run as I hide. I kind of need a checkpoint to unlock right about now. I 
don't know what the deal is with that one. It's down here. Okay, so the Karagor is over there attacking them. So maybe I can use that destruction to my advantage. There's a guy up here. Get close enough to stealth kill him. They can keep it down. So now I just need to figure out if there are any other orcs around here, which I don't think there are. I think the Karagor helped me so well here. Perhaps the game itself just helped me. That. I think that guy's going to drink some grog. So there's a blue. Let's work our way this way. See, it seems like I could just have disguised myself completely as a slave, walked up to all these things, and been done. to do is wait. Good. So I'm glad that was the end of that that level because otherwise I would have had some major trouble. I I did have some big trouble. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. She's so dirty, I thought she was a green orc for a second there. Did they paint her skin green? Oh, this has some nasty implications. If the mind would have wandered. But we will find our peace. Hmm. So, mission complete. Good. That's kind of important that we got this far because... Let's see. What is our hunting challenge? It's still... Flying creatures. Alright. So let's get this item and then let's get this intel. We also probably need to do some power struggles, uh, but I kind of feel like they might specifically be randomized. Our main things still to do, or we would want to get all the collectibles and the big ticket items. way it's the other way hmm. it's just 
just climbing up here. So we need to get this item first, and then we'll go get the intel. And then it takes us away from the game. So much of this takes us away from the game. He's in jail for a reason. The same what we're all thinking. Jail G A O L. The elves lord it over us. Don't they just? Sauron's right. We can live without pain, without growing old. And you want to go to war to make that happen? I want the king to listen to good ideas. Well, he should have nothing to do with Sauron. Fighting with the elves is not a bad idea. It's the worst idea imaginable. So, like, they make it out like Sauron had concepts and a political I stance is in my veins. I am a Northman, an exile. Hallis never let me forget that, and Yorith never cared. To the Eldar, all men are the followers. Fleeting visitors who soon pass beyond the circles of the world. Who's this guy? Lutbarg. Lut. So there must be some list Here's the information from a slaver. You pathetic little worm! Thank you, thank you. Please help me rescue my brother. He's far too stubborn to work for these Uruk. Let's talk to the Intel guy. Intel will reveal Captain's strengths and unlock their weakness, unlock weaknesses. Let's see. Whose weaknesses do we have intel on? This guy, Rat... Ratbag. Or Ratlog. Fears... He becomes terrified when he's burned. And his strengths... Are... Quite high. This feels so much like... Just kind of a board game stats. Like... Becomes enraged at the sight of ghouls. Invulnerable to stealth. Invulnerable... Well, the ranged monster slayer uh, kills monster queens. Ambushes, uh, ambusher launches ambushes against his enemies. Battle hardened, harder to kill, and quick shot shoots multiple shots in succession. So, like he's supposed to be whispering in your ear, but that cutscene totally did not render right at all. And I suppose we could get more intel, or we could just go against Lotbog the Dark. Why do so many slaves beg for their lives? Let's see if we can get down to this guy. I'm gonna wait till this guy is here and stealthily walk my way down this way. And then grab him. Nope. I'm gonna try and keep him alive. You maggot! This is new guy. He looks interesting. But not strong enough. I think we've gotten so strong now. We may already be at a level where we could beat the whole game. One would assume that I just kicked the, kicked the intel guy right into the wall. Interrogate him. Nope, that didn't work. I underestimated this time. No, you're not going nowhere. Hmm. So these weapons we get, I 
don't feel like they're in any way actually useful weapons. They say you don't hear nothing until there's a blade slicing your throat open. So I think what they are are kind of randomly generated. Looking for this plant. Pipe weed, yeah, that was it. So where do we want to go now? This could be our target. And what's the difference between taking out a target and power struggles? Not really a lot. This Uric's been killed! Burning to death. I haven't even had a class with them. This isn't going to plan. There we go. Thank you. So that may have been a liberation quest or something on top of what we were doing we do have the scattered memory of golem we could do but let's go see if we can get this item the new weapons are ready time to cut open a few enemies like we're right next to our power struggle let's do that too <laughs> Power level fe 15 of Feast. These are just pre-programmed special fights. So... If I could just get over here and, and poison the Grog. I wonder if that would do it. What was the mission? How do you pull back up the mission? I guess you don't. Oops. I was hoping the poison the grog didn't work. Let's just kill this guy. If you're gonna get up and walk again every time I kill you, this is gonna get boring. I should probably take an effort. Make an effort. Ooh, this is not going well. I should probably make an effort to kill everybody who's hurt me before and killed me to get revenge on all of them. It doesn't make a lot of sense though why this is hurting me but the other fights weren't. My health is slightly recovering, but that now it's down again. Ooh. Took his head off clean. Just 
You can see my health does recover. But his like counter fighting there is not working well. That's interesting. Becoming a bad habit, this. Well, bad for you. Hmm. No! So his power increased to 17. So I can't take on a 17 character. It's got some more stuff going on. We got a lot of stuff going on here. People getting promoted. Why they get promoted? I don't know why they don't immediately get promoted. So like I should go on a revenge quest to kill every single guy with the red thing above their head that, because those are the ones that have killed me. New missions now available. We also have, I imagine, more weapons and runes. See. Recover six percent uh, health in on a fury kill. Let's thirty-two percent chance to recover plus thirty focus for a headshot kill. That might be cool. Forty-two percent chance to recover five health with bow kills. This whole menu is a mess. This was also a problem with The Witcher 3, it's just 4% uh, chance to recover 50 health for each drain or brand, no. Um, so much stuff, just so much ridiculous stuff was had to be unlocked in Witcher 3 and it was awful menus. They, they eventually improved it a little bit, but not a significant amount. Throwing daggers. Tap right trigger trigger the throw damage. Uh, throw daggers or counter en enemies will be knocked back. I think countering enemies to knock them back is going to be more helpful. We're at 85. It would be 180 to upgrade any more rune slots. It would be 370 to upgrade our max elf shots, it would be a thousand fifty to upgrade that. Hmm. Let's find out where we are and where we want to go. Let's go see if we can get this intel. I said you grab them and you hit A, but I still have yet to have the experience where that really worked. These are slaves. Man, when they're running, and I'm running, you, it is a little bit of a chase here. What was that noise? Trying to grab this guy so bad. And look at this. You're getting this like dagger sound in him. From the teeth of the beast.
it's like, do I have to hold this and then press A? That's what you do. You have to hold the right bump, then press A. Flack the tree killer. And then you automatically kill him after you gain the intel, quite brutally. Ooh, look at this! I'm about to die. Oh, wrong button. So finally I figured out... Finally I figured out how to gain the intel, so I can play a major part of this game, but that's definitely not what we did in the previous experience. Uh, in the first, at the very beginning, well not at the very beginning of the game, actually like 20 minutes into the game when we finally were in this area after all the intro stuff. So power struggles, no. Collectibles, yes. And... Uh... Illidim, yes. I want those. Okay, he just jumped down. Fifty feet, thirty feet. Oh, it's down there. Soren would have been a better character if they had. If we'd seen him actually talk, have reasons. The outcasts now send women alone to steal from us. Do your worst, Ranger, but I will fight. You were but skin and bones. I can still fight. Gather what you can and run quickly before the others see you. Should be led to start. Quickly now, go. So that seems like an outcast against a human there. These Which... outcasts were strong to last in Mordor, to survive this wasteland while we occupied the gate. Yet they are not strong enough to survive the return of the Black Hand. Their only hope lies beyond the Mountains of Shadow. Another one of these. Nice. You gotta I think this game has a major problem, though, of just getting taking you away from the gameplay. It's just too much of this stuff. Hmm. So I need to. I guess quickly run to this section and I shouldn't really run to this section because we don't really have time in this recording. But we'll see if maybe we run, can run into some other things in between. into anything. So, we have 10 minutes. We're not going to get this level done in 10 minutes. Instead, let's play with the menu a little bit here. We have, I suppose, still a lot to do. We have the 
survival challenge 2, hunting challenge 2, I don't know if there's really going to be a ton more. We have two Illidan here, we have collectibles all over here, so I need to take an opportunity to run around here. We have these white collectible quests, which I think I can pull these off. I'm hoping I can pull them off, although maybe some of them I can't. There's this like smite level 3. Uh, it just says smite level 3 and nothing else. What is that? Interesting. It's not one of these display of power things. We have a resistance. Some of these actual resistance ones with the frame around them we should get. We should get kind of ignore the outcast but get the collectible ones. There's some more collectible things over this way, some more collectible things over this way, some more collectible things over this way, and I think this area is just totally done. Um, it really feels like we're going to just be around, running around this area over and over again. This might level 3 is something that's I'm interested about why it shows up right there in the map. Seems like maybe if I get my smite to level 3, but how would I even know? No, it's a rune. Oh, so I probably just dropped a rune and haven't picked it up. If I was to guess. Hmm. So the next time I die, I should get back there. It feels like the whole game is just going to be this, though. Uh, how can that really be when we have so much to purchase? I, the purchase wouldn't make sense. How about the upgrades? The next unlock would be at a power level of 166. So I have a power level right now of something less than 166. Odd that the game doesn't tell me what it's at at any point, but we're almost certainly going to have a a level where we have to do Caragor Hunter. That's locked. We're going to have to do Wraith Flash as one level two. So we're probably a lot earlier in the game than it feels like. But I am wondering, really starting to wonder just what the maximum here is going to be. Let's see, so I guess I can upgrade one of these. Like, if we've done 5 of tw 20 of the main missions, that's kind of ridiculous. There's 1 of 24 of Outcast Rescue missions, so those are limited too. And then we've done 1 Bow Legend and 1 Dagger Legend and 1 Survival Challenge. And we can see there's 10 survival challenges, so there is some more to the game there. We've done 7 of the 32 Ithildin, so once we're done with that, and we've done 11 of the 42 artifacts, we have to go to a different area at some point. It wouldn't make any sense. I feel very just estranged. <laughs> That's not the right word, but... It, it feels strange the way this game is going. And like, what does clicking on these things do? It doesn't seem like it does anything. I have it. I can't zoom in on it or do anything to it. Hmm. We have all these artifacts. Video games love to do this. It's so easy to have a pre-rendered artifact and just show it in a 3D browser. Uh, saw the same thing in the Tomb Raider reboot. We've seen the same thing in many, many games. Uh, explore Mordor to discover more. Uh, it's a way to add more to your game without actually adding more to your game. It's kind of annoying. These more guy flies, I don't think we're ever going to do anything with them. I haven't seen any Hellhawks. Hmm. 
I guess there are some characters that we could see. Notice how they're really playing up the plant stuff too. I would say though by 2016 standards the graphics are kind of low on resolution. This game was made for to run on a 7020p console and I don't even think it I think it came out for the 360 and PlayStation 3. I don't even Yeah, it did. So it's not even a n current generation game. Uh, so when or if Shadow of Mordor 2 comes out, then we will certainly see some better graphics there, hopefully. Uh, because it could use a bump. It's, it's ironic that this game that's not even a couple years old, not even four years old probably, could really do with a remaster in this form of an update not a remaster that sells you more mu sells you the game again but just an update on the graphics I often wonder about recording things for my channel at 1080p right now uh, at some point would I like to go back and play the games again and record them at like 2k or 4k or even 8k and there may be a genuine like to do that, but frankly there are so many games it would be very difficult for me to to justify that unless the game also improves some other things. So how are we doing on the tutorials here? Sorry to be stalling and not actually playing the game here at the end, but I really didn't want to start that level and then get stuck in it. So we have another rune space on our weapon now. Let's see, what can we put? Gain access to the storm of your foil legendary weapon power. That's already equipped. Defiant to the end, that's already equipped. 20% chance of critical hits when sword or ignite enemies and Flame combat finishers do extra damage against captains. 50% chance to reduce melee damage by 50%. Alright. Or recover 6% health with a fury kill. So I think the epic ones are ones you're going to get. But anything that's just a level something is just randomly generated. So you... you at the end of the day, you're going to have five slots. You'll have five epic things in it. Almost certainly. And then we've got Sauron's army. I wish this would fill in a little faster. Honestly, it seems too slow. We have the five generals in the background there. Which we don't know yet. So we have that strength and weakness already, but other people's strengths and weaknesses we don't know yet. We know his. Where's Ratbag? Right here? Yep. And yes, Ratbag does look like the guy we were fighting at the very beginning of the game uh, and interrogated, so maybe that is the same character, maybe it isn't. And then this whole fight system where this guy is being is fighting this one doesn't really tell us much. All it means is one of these two people will probably die and then something else will happen. Now I believe when we see this it is actually taking place in real time. So if there was uh, if you wish to you could show up in the middle of that battle against the two and fight them both kill them both and gain a lot of power if that was something you wanted to do anywho that's been an hour so that's where I'm gonna end this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all that helps out if you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. 
And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.